Good morning lovely people. I decided to vlog this weekend. Um, I was going to put up another video on Tuesday but I've moved that back to Thursday. I'm going to put a vlog up instead. I know a lot of you guys have been asking whether I've cut down officially to just two videos a week. Um, it wasn't really an official thing. After Vlogmas I just wanted to chill out with the uploads. Because three a week, it's so, so different to two a week. It really makes you feel like you have so much more stuff to do. Let me just mute this TV. Um, so I've just been doing one on Tuesday and Sunday and I've been really enjoying it and being able to get ahead But sometimes I put one up on Thursday I was finding that my videos on Thursday weren't getting very good views and when you put so much effort into a video It's quite frustrating when you feel like people aren't watching it as much as they do on other days So I'm playing around with it this week I'll do three but I probably will stick to two most of the time So I'm gonna vlog this weekend. Do you mind if I vlog Rich? No. Nevo, Rich's best friend, is coming down for the weekend. Um, we've got a couple of things planned. Actually, we haven't really got that much planned, so I just thought I'd vlog. I haven't done like a weekend vlog in a while. I need to have some breakfast before Nevo comes. Rich, the absolute weirdo, is eating leftover meatballs, mm. turkey, turkey meatballs, meatballs. for breakfast. It's like 10 o'clock. Sick, absolutely sick. I'm gonna have, do you think his muesli is still going, Rich? Mm. What day did you make it? Yeah, time. I'm gonna have some birch muesli that I made at the beginning of the week. Yeah, there's a little bit left. It looks good, let's smell it. it. Smells good. This is what I'm wearing today. I've actually put my hair up in like a half pony, which I don't think I've done before. And I'm wearing this sweater from Urban Outfitters that says, oh, hi there. And I'm wearing my new ASOS jeans with my Adidas trainers. And I'm wearing stripy socks because I just don't want cold ankles and I feel like I can get away with it because I don't care. So we're just waiting for Nebo to arrive and then this morning we're going to go meet Debs and Paul and go to Debs's dad's bakery. So the bakery is in East London, it's called Rinkoff's Bakery and they've had it in their family for like 150 years so it's amazing, delicious baked goods so we're going to go and scoff our faces basically. Okay we're in Whitechapel now and we're heading to Rinkoff's Bakery, found Debs, she's here, hey, nice hat, Thanks. and the tall boys are walking ahead. Seriously, Paul makes Nevo and Rich look short and they're, they're both like over six foot toolies. Look, Rinkoff's Bakery, this way. Here's the bakery. Rinkoff's are famous for their amazing bagels and crodos, which is like a donut and a, not a crumpet. Croissant. 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 We're going to have a look around in the bakery. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Brioche buns. Mm. Oh my god, Anna would die in here. <laughs> so much bread everywhere. We're gonna walk through Brick Lane now and head to Red Church Street. I was there yesterday and I found this shop I really, really like. Can't really remember what it's called now. Do you remember? Uh, uh, I can't remember. Ace. Yeah, something Ace. And everything's Kit like Ace. Kit Ace. And everything was made with cashmere and they had like really cool shapes. And there's a shirt that I just haven't stopped thinking about since yesterday. So I might go take a look. And maybe we'll go to Spitterfields. Basically, just recreating so our day yesterday because we had such a nice time. Look, uh, Rich Mix. We're just on Red Church Street now, which is where all the cool shops are. I love it. It really reminds me of like the meatpacking district in New York right here. Oh, is that the shop? Yeah. This is the shop Kit Ace that I went into yesterday and I want to go into again. Look how pretty it is. This is the shirt that I'm going to try on. I really like it because of this detail, but it's expensive, so let's see if it looks good. I'm in Urban Outfitters now, trying on a few bits. I like this. We lost the boys, they went to a pub, and me and Deb got lost in Urban Outfitters, so now we're wandering around. We're actually back in Bailey Nelson, I'm in here far too often, but Deb's is loving the glasses. Those, Rich, you want to see what you look like? Okay. Yeah, they're nice. They're all nice. God, that's not a really good shot. <laughs> they suit you. They're blue. They're interesting. Yeah. She's having a great time. And look, these are the clip-on things. You can clip onto the glasses to make them sunglasses. I have these. They're amazing. Oh, those really suit you. We found the boys in a pub. Are you on like the second beer? Third? Second beer. <laughs> second beer. Rich is going to get me an Elder Flowers in. Uh, me and Deb bought some stuff in Urban Outfitters. So I'll show you later. The weather today is so bad, it's making it really not enjoyable to walk around London. We just said bye to Deb's and Paul. And we were going to go to Home Slice, but then we realised Dishoom is near here. And Neva's never been to Dishoom, so we're going to go there and have like a late lunch, early dinner kind of thing. I'm so hungry, I can't wait.
We got chicken tikka, uh, rice, prawns over there, and slaw. And there's something else coming, I think. Dishoom was delicious, as usual. Levo, did you like your first Dishoom experience? It was amazing, yes. It's good, isn't it? We're just looking around Box Park. I've come into the One Piece store, and there's a marble onesie. Look. A marble onesie? Oh my god, I need this in my life. Is it? There's Diptyque, Kiehl's. They're all really cool. Oh, what's that? Donuts. Oh my gosh, look at these donuts. And there's mini ones. That's what I've been saying that we need in London, mini donuts. We're getting a selection of six of the mini donuts. nevo has gone for the pink one. <laughs> We're in a bar in um, Rock Park under some really nice warm pizzas. And it's all like Caribbean themed, so I'm up for a cocktail or two. There's what? Happy hour. Ooh, what, your faces are so pink in this light, it's weird. These are all two for one. Two, two for ten pounds. And then the house beer is called then for three pounds. Oh god, I look, I look really ill in this light. Hey, please, don't Hey! Sorry, the camera's on here. Don't worry. They're playing 90s music. I'm really happy about it. No. This was meant to just be a day out, but it turned into a night out. Now we're gonna That's go. We're, <laughs> we're gonna go find JC some food. Where's JC? He's the hungry one. So we're gonna go to the Urban Food Festival, which is like an outdoor food market in Shoreditch. Um, why have you got so quiet? That's so nice. Woo, lads! Hashtag lads. Here it is. Block. Oh wait, that's not it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's not it. It's up here. <laughs> Alright, he's going to Dirty Burger instead. I say he like I'm not gonna get anything. Yeah, right. You're so gonna get something. Dirty! I've just been cry laughing in the taxi home. I completely forgot to vlog it, but Nevo was giving me and Rich a, a wedding quiz of like a how well do we know each other. It's just so funny. I didn't know Rich's favorite number. I didn't know Rich's star sign. You didn't know mine either, to be fair. Now I know you're a scorpion. What do you think I am? Capricorn. No, I'm Sagittarius. <laughs> anyway, it was making me laugh a lot. The cab driver was enjoying it. I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got um, today. I'm really excited about these things, actually. Oh, Rich, he closed the door. My vlog doesn't need to hear you wee. This grey high neck top is from Urban Outfitters. It's cheap Monday. It's really nice and thick. And I tried it on, it really nice. This grey top is also from Urban Outfitters. It's really like slouchy and comfortable. It's got like a nice low V. And then I also got this from Cos. And I was going to get it in the black or the navy blue. I tried on the pink just for size. And I actually really like the pink. I never wear this sort of colour. It's like a blush pink. And it's basically a really nice thick sweater and then it's got this like shirt section that's attached to it which looks like it's gonna get really creasy but it's so pretty I really really like that and I also bought some nice socks from Cos because I really like their socks. So this is our collection of photos um, for our flat and this is the one that Nevo took today and he hates it. <laughs> I think it's good. You do look like you're missing two arms though. We want to know what the difference between digestives and rich tea because last time I got rich tea, this time we got digestives and they're just not as good as rich tea. So if anyone could tell me what the difference is in terms of ingredients and how bad they are for you. You got something to say? You, look, you made no, a hand I, gesture. I, I was going to say the same thing. What, the rich tea are better? How healthy difference? No, I think that they equally taste great, but I think you have to have two rich teas for one digestive, consistency-wise. Oh, these are a bit more like filling. No, in terms of dipping. Oh, Peter really? Peter K has got the one dip. Have you seen the sketch? No. So Peter K calls rich teas one dips because you literally need to be quick. Oh yeah, for them are fall apart. Digestives so the SAS of the biscuit where they go dip me again. Yeah. So that's true. Two rich teas equals one digestive if you're dipping. But rich teas taste better. Correct. We've made Nevo a makeshift bed on the sofa. I'm gonna end vlogging here, but I will vlog again tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Night. Say night, Rich. Night. Say night, Eva. <laughs> I think we should all go to...
Morning guys, it's just too early to show you my face, but we're making a fry up. This is what happens when guests are here. I'm cutting mushrooms, which is opening the baked beans and the bacon and the eggs. And we're just gonna cook a load of yummy stuff. The boys are hungover. I'm just tired hungover. Garlic for breakfast. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, I'm a bit delirious. I wish, can I show them your face? <laughs> <laughs> that is Richard's hungover face. You're not actually hungover. For yeah, hard. whatever, whatever. I've drank. You woke up, we're like, Fresh Green and Mini Macintosh have broken up. Yeah. I told you that last night. Oh, I looked on That's him. probably the last thing I told you before bed. Mini just texted me. <laughs> She's looking for a, a new one. Yeah. Operation Fry Up is going well despite the incident with me not washing the mushrooms. I'm just finishing up my makeup, my hair's up obviously because it's Sunday and it's always greasy by Sunday. Um, before I finish my makeup and do my mascara, I wanted to show you guys this mascara because I'm loving it at the moment. It's the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout. First of all, I love the packaging, it's like weighted and amazing, but this is so good for days where you want slightly more natural lashes but they really define and make them really long. Um, let me see if I can show you the brush. This is the brush, so it's like one of those plasticky ones, but it's so, so good, I love it. I'm wearing Clinique Lip Liner in Intense Blush, which is really nice. You can't really see in this light. Can you see better now? I don't know, I quite like my makeup today, actually. I, try, I always make an effort with my makeup when my hair is looking crappy. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. So this is the new top I bought from Urban Outfitters yesterday, which I love the fit and the thickness of it. It's so comfortable and I'm really enjoying the high neck thing at the moment. Um, and these are my ASOS jeans I'm gonna wear with my trainers and my little frizzy hair bits at the back here. That is my accessory of the day. I'm also gonna wear my bomber and my Strathby of Scotland bag and I think we're ready to go. We're gonna pop around to my parents to pick up my mum and a fold up chair for dinner tonight, random. Um, and I think we're going into town. I think we're gonna go show my mum a potential groom outfit for Rich, so I won't be vlogging that, but then I will vlog again afterwards and all the bits in between. And tonight we're going around to our friend Gemma and Ben's for dinner with Debs and Paul, who we saw yesterday. So twice in one weekend, great, love it. And really looking forward to dinner. Gemma! Hello, hello, hello! We found ourselves by Carnaby Street, so I think we're gonna go to Kingly Court see if we can find somewhere to have some lunch. I'm feeling like I need something healthy after that far up this morning. I'm now gonna head to Liberty to pick out some nice chocolates to give to Gemma tonight. She's having a round for dinner. I got her some Rococo chocolate almonds because she loves almonds. I'm back at my parents' house now, and apparently my mum said I've got loads of clothes left in this room. And I feel like if I haven't worn them by now, they're probably not clothes that I miss that much. So I'm gonna quickly go through them and just check there's nothing I want before she gets rid of them. I think they're in here. Oh God, this is all like random summer clothes. Ooh, I was looking for this Lakers top. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of this now and see if there's anything that I actually want. Oh, denim shorts. Turns out there's not much stuff I actually want from that top drawer. A few things here that I'm taking. Second drawer done, absolutely nothing kept. This is all like nice stuff, but I just don't wear it anymore. So I'm gonna let my sisters and my cousin look through it and then everything else is going to the charity shop. Just checking out my mum's handbag collection. She actually uses this to hang her handbags on the back of her door and it's from Urban Outfits. So I actually ordered it to use in my bathroom, but I found that you couldn't close the door because it's like this, but she never closes her bedroom door anyway. So she uses this to hang all her bags, which I think looks pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys these photos in my parents' house of like our family. I feel like I haven't really even acknowledged that these are here, I always forget. But there's some really good wedding photos and now I'm getting married, I look at them in a whole different light. These are my, this is my dad's mum and dad's, so my grandparents, neither of them are alive anymore. But how amazing is this photo? Look at her wedding dress. And look at those flowers. I mean, that is super posh. And then this is, <sighs> Mum, is this your aunt? No. That's my dad. So that's my dad. That's that's my grandpa, who's no longer alive. That's so that's my grandpa and his sister. So that's my grandpa's mum. They made, they my made great grandma. Their they made. <laughs> you don't have to whisper. They made all their clothes themselves. Apparently, I mean, look how cute my grandpa is. 
That is so sweet. He looks a bit like Asa. He looks a lot like Asa, actually. Mm. That's so fun. Look at these hats. Look at her. Oh, it's not focusing. Okay, and then I have no idea who all these other people are. That's, that's mum's dad. That's my grandma's dad. So my great grandpa. That, you can't even hardly see. How do you end up with these photos, mum? And then this one. Pop's mum. Who? Pop's mum. Mum and dad. So my grandpa's mum and great, dad. Great grandparents. My great grandparents. That was my grandpa. Looking very dapper. And this is one of my favourite photos ever. That's my grandma and my grandpa. My grandpa is wearing a swimming costume. I mean, that was obviously the style. What was this, like, 40s? 30s? Mm. Well, no, I don't know. I mean, look how cool that is. That is the best photo ever. I just got home to a ticket. Because apparently I drove into the congestion zone when I really didn't realise that I had. It's really not clear. If your car should, like, beep or something. So now I owe £65. And if I don't pay it within 14 days, it goes up to £195. Did I, did I affect anyone by going in the congestion charge? Did I hurt anyone? Yeah, con congestion. Did I congest anyone? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Rich just said, do you want some Nutella? Yes, I do. That's exactly what I want. That will make me feel better. Yeah. Oh, Rich. Uh. It's quarter to five now, and we're going out at seven tonight. I can't be bothered to wash my hair. It's only friends, so I'll just do that tomorrow. But I think I'm going to use the next couple of hours to sort out my wardrobe because I've been buying loads of new things recently. Actually, I'll show you guys because I haven't shown you. These are the culottes I bought from Topshop the other day. Very scary purchase, but I like them. Um, and then actually, I think you saw the other things that I bought yesterday. But with all these nice new things, I feel like my wardrobe is just a bit like, ooh, they're not, I want it just to be like beautiful. So I'm going to sort through my wardrobe because I like to do that every now and again and just throw away, or not throw away, but give to charity and sisters and friends stuff that I'm not wearing anymore. Um, I don't know why I'm choosing to do it now, but I fancy doing it now. I might get bored halfway through. But the first thing I'm going to do is uncheck under my bed because this is the stuff that I never touch and so I feel like if it's sitting under here it's not getting worn so I'm going to go through my shoes and I'm going to go through all of this rubbish here and sort it out I've got some really thin strappy summer tops I think I still like in the summer so I'm gonna keep them and I've got Christmas jumpers I loved this one this year I don't want to get rid of it I think I might still like it next year and Rich's Christmas jumpers here as well so I think I'm gonna keep these I think it's a bit of a habit of mine to hoard fancy dressed things like these Minnie Mouse ears or this bandana and a disco pants that I never wear I think it's like the uni girl in me that thinks oh I might need this for fancy dress I don't even remember the last time I went to a fancy dress party, but it is very annoying when you get invited to like a Disney themed party or a pirate party and you think, oh, I really should have kept those Minnie Mouse ears or bandana. So I'm going to keep them. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I found this. Anna was talking recently about how she has kept all her like important clothing items throughout the years. So like the dress she wore to her year six dance or the dress she wore to graduation. And I was like, oh, that's such a nice thing to do. I should have done that. This is the dress I wore to graduation. So I obviously did do that as well, I just forgot. So this is a Topshop dress, size 12. Haven't changed, good good to know, still a size 12. Um, yeah, this is the dress I wore to my graduation. And it's like white and floaty. I actually still like it, I would still wear it, but I'm gonna keep this. Just in case my daughter thinks like, oh, I wanna see what you wore to your graduation. It was a big day, I was very proud of myself, so. I wore this with black tights and heels. Okay, I'm doing well so far. This is Rich's size, He's got a few pairs of shoes and some like, sporty clothes and socks and stuff um, and then he's got a big bag that's gonna go there and then these are my summer clothes that it's just for like when it's really hot and when I go away Christmas jumpers there I'm gonna go through these shoes in a minute and then I've just kind of got like travel packing bags to fit in I think I've shown you this before but I like to take Polaroid pictures of the shoes that are in the box I don't know if I'll keep updating this as the shoes change but for now it kind of works I just slip it there and then when I put the shoe box over there I can see what's in it. I realized that I wasn't really wearing the shoes in the box so what I've done is put in like my summer sandals and stuff in the box but my other shoes I've just laid out like this so I can easily grab what I need. I've got my Topshop boots, 
my Steve Madden boots, my Dune boots, more Steve Maddens, whistles shoes, uh, Topshop heels, uh, office shoes and Converse and then there's a few trainers in the other room. Okay, I think that's pretty much done. I just need to put my um, camera bag on top of Rich's bag there. This is all the stuff that I'm going to get rid of or give away. These shoes, I didn't end up wearing them as much as I thought I would but you know, that happens. Uh, someone else will enjoy them I'm sure and some denim shorts and other stuff that doesn't fit me. I'm just sorting out my wardrobe, so I've done all of these things that are hanging, checked all those clothes, and I don't know what to do with this jumper. I love that it says hangry, but I never wear it because it's so high-necked and tight around the neck and like huge on the arms. It's the most unflattering thing ever that I don't actually wear it. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. This is also one of those items I'm gonna try and keep because this, funnily enough, was the t-shirt I was wearing on the day that Rich proposed to me. A Mickey's Burgers t-shirt so whenever I wear it I normally just wear it at home because it's kind of scruffy I just think oh memories so I'll try and keep this one as well this is my entire jeans collection I have two pairs of black Jamie jeans that are exactly the same but I just wear them so often it's worth having two and then one pair of black Jamie jeans that have rips in them that are more faded then I've got some River Island I think they're called Ashley jeans and my new ASOS like boyfriend jeans and then I've got a pair of just blue Jamie jeans and another pair of blue Jamie jeans that have rips in them. So kind of one of every type of jean that you'll need really. This is all the stuff I'm going to give away. I think I've done really well because I thought that all the stuff I had in my flat as opposed to my parents place was all like new good stuff but really I just don't wear some of these things ever even though they might some of them might be quite new. Um, I just feel that there's no point in having them cluttering up space. Someone else could enjoy them instead. Okay, I'm ready to go out. I am wearing my ripped Jamie jeans and the new top that I got from Urban Outfitters that I love. This really reminds me of something from the White Company. It's all like slouchy and comfy. I actually got it in the small. I'm never a small in anything, so whoop whoop. Has nice pockets. I'm wearing this really pretty whistles necklace which has like marble detail on it. Um, and that that's all really. I don't know how much of tonight I'll vlog because I don't want to be that friend that's like filming when we all just want to chill out but saying that it's Debs and Paul and Gemma and Ben who all love being on camera and are very relaxed about the whole vlogging thing so if I remember to vlog I will if I'm just having too much of a good time then I probably won't but we're not ending yet so don't worry we're having to bring a chair to Ben and Gemma's for dinner <laughs> small flat problems when you don't have enough chairs for your guests we have exactly the same thing look how cute this is Gemma's made um, I say no, no, Gemma. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, mm. Gemma's made a proper nice table with flowers and balloons. Did you actually get this balloon? No, that was one of the balloons. No, the balloons. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Balloons for from. Um... Balloons was one of the day's presents. Oh, oh one of the wedding presents. Wow. Still going. What? Oh, that's right. So do you ask. I'm about them done um, oh no, that's annoying. What's this for starter? Caramelised onion, goat's cheese, and caramelised fig tart. Mmm. Right up my street. Marie, what? what are those wooden spoons? Mm. Hey, that. Oh, it's from the wedding. wedding. I haven't vlogged all night, but we had oh. lovely dinner. Look at Gemma and Ben's wedding site. Okay, well, I literally can't even see that I'm vlogging it. Yeah, there you go. Nice dinner, yeah, everybody. Like back to front. I made it. Yes. Really nice. <laughs> I, uh, I think he just looks back to front on that. I don't know. Is it back to front? Think... Well, it isn't in life. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Thanks for dinner. I literally walked into the flat and got straight into my pajamas. But I had such a nice evening. Dinner was really nice, catching up with everyone. And now I have to take all my washing out the washing machine and hang it on the clothes horse. So. Great, fun way to end the evening. I'm really looking forward to going to sleep though. If you guys would like to, I've put all my vlogs into a playlist. I know I love watching playlists on YouTube because they, they just play one after the other when I'm like clearing my room and stuff. So if you want to click on this video here, I have linked up all my previous vlogs if you want to watch that. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on Thursday because I've got three videos this week. So don't forget to come back Thursday, 6.30pm UK time. And there'll be a new video then. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.